there's you, Fifth. I think we already kitted her out with a bit of materia. We did not. Let's give her something for now. She doesn't have a summon, that's fine. Let's just at least give her some of this independent material, just so that she's got something leveling up anyway. Don't think I want to share a bed with rats. Right, now let's move on to Coral. Oh boy, I feel like Where am I? So lost. The vibes here are wild, like otherworldly. I think we managed to do everything in the previous chapter. We went around entirely and bought as much as we could. Did all the side quests. Welcome. You in the market for material? Yeah, the few bits of material that he had, like barrier and empowerment and fortification, we've grabbed those as well. Great, right, let's just head out of Costa del Sol. Oh wait, what's going on over here? Saga of the Seaside Inn. Johnny's Seaside Inn is currently undergoing a complete renovation to better cater to you, our beloved customers. And we could use a little help. Help that isn't me. And by me, I mean we. By we, I mean. Okay. Don't leave me. Right, okay. And the free fashionistas. Okay. So I guess we're not moving on straight away. Dancers, the tropical cuisine, all of it yearns to be preserved. Surely there are more lovely sights to be found in this region. Oh wow, I've not even seen that the stuff just yet. Inn. Wonder how long it's been here. A relic from Costa del Sol time is a fishing village, perhaps? The crumbling walls. miss the unbeatable ambiance of my seaside paradise either way i'm glad you're here because i was actually hoping to ask you for a little favor as you know your boy's debt free figured i'd make the most of my financial solvency and give the inn a total makeover thing is you short on hands ah uh, if only my dear bro kind of the opposite problem actually Oh, Johnny, a name thou hast claimed is thine. But if thou truly Johnny be, then who, pray tell, am I? So, yeah, it's your classic existential crisis. You get the idea. Uh... Beds have all been made. What's next? Huh? Oh, hey, bro. I, I, I told you to stay out of sight. You're just going to confuse them. Aren't you supposed to be out shopping anyway? Go on, shoot! Oh, How come he gets to talk to my bro and I don't? So unfair. Uh, see what I have to deal with?
<laughs> Think you're surprised? Imagine how I felt. Good day, sir. I saw you are a help wanted ad. Oh, that's... Say, you look awfully familiar. Too familiar. You look exactly like me. N no, please, stay back. Don't come any closer. Ah! Ah! Okay, that last part was just a joke, but... This wouldn't have anything to do with me using my ninja skills to create a bunch of clones, would it? Turns out a few of them managed to stick around somehow. And I think they might have even multiplied. <laughs> I mean, I never doubted my amazing abilities, but even I didn't realize I was capable of doing that. But hey, look on the bright side. At least you aren't short-staffed. Oh, but I am. I sent a crew to fetch materials and haven't heard a word from them since. Turns out I can't rely on myself. My other selves. I'm begging you, bro. You gotta help me out here. A Johnny's a wild beast that can't be tamed. You know that. There's no telling what sort of havoc these bad boys might wreak. Maybe we should lend him a hand? <sighs> Fine. Yes! I knew I could count on you, bro! I sent them off to the coast of Falls to look for materials for the renovations. I want to start there. You probably want to start by having a look around the coast of Falls. Ugh. I suppose I should have known I couldn't be trusted. Very weird. But sure. <laughs> Can't handle one, Johnny. The fact that we've got multiple of them. Charming inn. I wonder how long it's been here. A relic from boy. Right, and where was the other mission? Over there. I wonder if we go in the weapon store now, actually. Will there be another weapon for Yuffie? No. You take care of yourself out there. It seems that like most weapons can just be found anyway, so we'll eventually get something else for her. Uh, it's down. Can we go on the beat now, or do we still need to change? You just need to change for the bit previously. All right. You're the one who got into it with that Shinra scientist. Oh wow, it is you. I'm Fran, and I'm Naomi. Name's Yorda. And we would like to hire you for a job. Interested? That depends. It's simple. Girl and boy go on a date. Easy peasy, right? A date? The three of us are designers for Costa del Sol's premier fashion boutique. For our next line, we're thinking something sexy. Perfect for the beach, the bar, or in the boudoir. But creatively speaking, it's been a struggle. We've been racking our brains forever. And the showcase is basically now. It's do or die, and we don't want to kill our careers. So, that's where you come in. We want to see a real couple on a date for inspiration. Well, sound like a good gig? Hojo, as in that Shinra guy? We were just doing the mayor a favor, that's all. And if we're being honest, we figured it couldn't hurt to butter up a company bigwig. We got a business to run. Because we can tell you like your women assertive. And since we're all about strong, confident ladies, we thought, ka-ching! One look at you and we knew that woman's not afraid to take what she wants. Maybe? I mean, uh, I'd like to think so. We knew you would. And so, we've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like you. Get rowdy at Run Wild. Be ready to swashbuckle at Pirate's Rampage. This is going to be your best date yet. We'll make sure of it. This is one of the 
of stranger jobs you've accepted. Still a job. I'll take the lead. Hey, I can help. I'll make this date our best yet. Where would you like we to go? We could just huh? keep it simple. Oh, anywhere. And so what's a together? simple date in your world? Like a walk? Across rooftops, perhaps? Sure. Ah, memories. I was going to say the same thing as Aerith. A bit weird. <laughs> Look who it is. So, are you ready to aim and fire? Do well, and you might just land a bullseye on her heart. Avenge the fallen swashbucklers by sniping their ghastly adversaries in this new test of skill. The more accurate you are, the higher your score, so watch where you shoot. Okay, so there's actually a new challenge and new reward. Worth trying to get them then. Do I need to keep my accuracy above a certain number as well? Oh, right. Sweet. So you, your score is your actual score times your accuracy. Did I do it? Yes! Wait. Just about 300 points. Wow, look at that score. Those are some pro numbers. But what did the lady think? Oh, got me right through the heart, the cat. <laughs> you know, the secret is to aim for the head, not the heart. She never once took her eyes off her man, and the way she stared at him, the score didn't matter. Thanks, cuties. That was just what I needed. I'll head back, now that the creative juices are flowing again. You two, however, still have a date to finish. Go find Naomi at Run Wild. Are we going to see Cloud on all fours doing... Um... The wrong wild instead of red. Where would you like to go, huh? I wonder what the girls have next on the agenda for us. More cheap date ideas? Oh, lighten up. We're trying to enjoy ourselves. Trying to get paid. You're no fun at all today. Hey, how about an awkward day? I am treating this tiny date. I wish you wouldn't. Why? Step right up. We've got the best of us. Got a furry friend who needs to burn off some energy? I know. Come to run wild. Also, the four people loitering around. <laughs> Someone took their sweet time, I see. Better hurry or the game will start without you. What game? Run wild, of course. Tell me you've heard of it. 
It's only the hottest sport in town. Not hard to guess why, seeing all those cutie wooties. I mean, it's the perfect spot for a date. Are you ready to go? It's survival of the fastest. In this new twist on Run Wild, shoot the numbered balls into their corresponding goals in the shortest amount of time to win. We've got to do it in less than three minutes. All right. Wish me luck, okay? You do know this is for animals, right? Not people. People are technically animals too, right? So it's cool. Wrong. Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but your pet can. But though I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Brett's got this. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. Give me an R, give me an E, give me a D! Right, so I need to shoot them into target number. I need to do... And... Blue. And screw it up completely. And yellow? Where's that? Then the black, and then oh, what? All right, yeah, you're gonna have to make it a bit harder, aren't you? Blue again. Where are we? Red once more, and then finally the black. That was easy. You are like a red bolt shooting across that field. I am quick on my feet. The three of us should go around sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you enjoy losing. Hmm. Their dog is the glue that binds their relationship. And watching their little guy give it his all out there only served to strengthen their bond. That's it! I'm such a genius! I've got to get this idea down on paper! I need to get back to the shop, like, yesterday. Yorda's at the stables for the final part of your date. So what are you waiting for? Get those tushies on a chocobo! At the stable? I've not even seen a stable on uh, this island just yet. There's one there. Why? One thing I definitely haven't seen is... I don't know why it flew me over there. Is this particular... The coral region. So we've got a... 
We've got six towers, six combat assignments, three summon crystals, and six life springs. Like another massive area, which is probably going to be a lot of side quests in this video. Uh, the stream, sorry. And video if you watch this later on YouTube. Are gonna come up with. Hey, what kind of swimsuit would you want to see? Me? Yes, you. I'm curious. Well, I prefer function over form. So, durable. Maybe made with non-absorbent materials that allow for full range of motion. In case you need to fight underwater. <laughs> Okie dokie then. to make tracks is on Choco back. Choco boats for rent right here, folks. Hello there. If you're looking to borrow one of our birds, you'll need to purchase a rental pass first. Rent a bird membership. Pass the members of the coral region's rental stables. Those who join also receive Choco gear as a sign-on bonus. This is all just... Right, okay. Tropical Vias, a Tropical Shawl, and Tropical Tank. Thank you! I've registered your information in our system. So now, you're free to borrow our birds whenever you like! Okay. That looks ridiculous. Sure. There you are. Okay, I've got a great activity for you. So the idea is to ride Kaima here and enjoy a romantic stroll along the beach. Oh. But that on its own sounds like a huge yawn fest. So try hunting for shells while you're at it. How about you bring me the largest one you can find? Sound good? I'll be chilling back here. So you two run along and have yourselves one shell of a time. Right, we've got six of us and six chocobos now. But this is definitely a first for me. You've ridden them before. I'm not talking about the chocobos. Oh, you meant the shells, right? Right. Uh. Where are we going? Ah, we've got to go all the way down there. Right, in that case, we might as well crack on with some of these actual uh, towers on the way. Wait a second. Are you nervous? About what? Easiest job I've ever had. The Merc's nervous. Anything worthwhile in here? Oh, there's three. Treasure chests in here for some reason. In the manifestation of the planet Denison. That's a new one. Oh, one thing I did forget to do actually. Let's go back to Yuffie real quick. Didn't want to set the materia. I wanted to give her. We got a. Pedometer pin as a part of the side quest in Coast del Sol. So it gives a little bit of gill the more you move around. We might as well make use of it. I completely walked past this. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ah, up there. How do we get up there? It was a free circlet, so you know it's worth picking that up at least. Right, let's run over to this tower and uh, see what's on the map. Oh. There's also a life spring nearby because we had one of those owls. So. Five Moogle medals, that'll be decent. Let's do this. Let's assess everything. Right, weak to wind and fire. Don't really drop anything exciting. Ice and fire. Just about saw that it was like a giant pink helicopter. Wonder what that for. Oh. There we go. It's always worth doing these side objectives as well, just because you get your party level up, which allows you to get more skills from your uh, the book things. What they're called now? Since we're in a new area as well, we're getting a lot more materials that we didn't have before. Again, they're all weak to basic elements. I'll show you what I can do. Sorry, but it's not happening. You've got this. Okay, let's go. One more shot. There, bring it. What is up here? Oh, 
Oh, this is the coast of falls. Let's go take on whatever this is. Brown land. Got a lot of okay. ability to dodge. Look into that. Planktonic organisms that float near coast, they're unable to move themselves at will, but have learned to use wind currents to skillfully dodge attack. Exploiting the weakness will pressure them. They will also become pressured when attempting to cast spells while silenced. They cannot be attacked while flitting through the air, so patience is key. Okay. I don't think I can actually silence anything though, unfortunately. We got it, but I'm not sure how. <laughs> Nothing worthwhile up here. This is just absolutely amazing. They've done a lot to improve Coast of El Sol. But again, it was just an area that you'd, you'd literally just pass through it in the original game. You'd maybe pick up a few items, but that's about it. Send me to check on you guys. Help you find materials. Oh, that was pretty smart of me. No, no one knows, knows me better than myself. And uh, this whole synchronized talking thing is kind of creepy. We had actually already gathered everything we needed, but then we ran into some fiends and had to zip line for our lives. So unless they took our stuff for some weird reason, everything should still be right where we dropped it. We think you'll help us get it all back, won't you, bro? The more pieces you pick up, the better off me and me will be. Having our bro help out's like having a hundred bucks. Even better. If Johnny's in a fight and we'd still get our asses kicked. We'd be so scared. Recover the refurbishment materials. Where are they? So, you find, you find anything, anything, bro? They ought to be all around the zip lines, right where we dropped them. You'd be doing us a solid by tracking them down. Come on, don't leave us hanging. We need your help. Around the zip line. There was one there. We took one down. That's third. That is a terrible idea. Uh, I think you meant to say terrific idea. Come on, I won't just imagine how much fun it could be. Hmm. Huh. Well, what did I tell you? More Yuffies, more fun. This looks like a job for the Yuffie squad. How about we take a look over there? Nah, I think we'd have better luck over there. If it's not materia, I'm not interested. <laughs> Hey, Cloud! Uh, Cloud? Are you even listening to us? See? Like I said, fun! No, not fun. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. When did Yuffie learn to clone herself? Because she couldn't do it in the uh, intermission. <laughs> Right, here we go. These eight. Jeez.
How does everyone else slide down? Thief anomaly, area on a weapon. I'm assuming the. <laughs> what I see red slide down actually. <laughs> They're just going to turn up, aren't they? Yep. I really do wonder what that is. I'm sure it'll point itself out later. Um. Oh, wait. Is there stuff in the water? Well, this fish, but not materials that we need. How many of these zip lines are there? I wonder if there's about... Yeah, there's quite a few by the looks of it. If they're going to be at the top of every single zip line, then we've got a while to find them. Right, let's look at going toward this live spring at least. Oh, wow. I remember these. Weak to fire and lightning. Exploiting the weakness will pressure them. Whilst hiding in the shells, they're impervious to basic attacks, but hitting them with powerful offensive abilities will force them to come out. Oh, whoa. Sorry. What we want to do is use a... Let's use Cura, actually, on Cloud. Into this cave by the looks of it. Oh, that's hard to see. I'm doing those live spring. <clears throat> Excuse me. By the way, I, I, I am still getting over a, a bit of sickness, so if my voice does sound a bit weird, that's why. But anyway, those live springs, when you do obtain them, like I think after two, you get some sort of like it's like a scavenging hunt for some unique items. And um, gives you more transmutation options. And then when you get all of them, you basically get like a mini boss of the area. Um, why am I running around? Let's call oh, Kaima. There's another uh, life spring nearby by the looks of it.
Oh, eh? Eh, what? There's also another Remnant Wave Tower. Wait, that's an orange-ish chocobo, isn't it? Not, not a golden chocobo. I wonder what that ability is. Ooh, lovely. There's that transmuter chip we were just talking about. Not too far away either. That's good. That obviously opens up a few more options for us in terms of what we can craft. But anyway, back to that chocobo. In the Junon region, we had the black chocobo, which could scale walls. I wonder what the orange one can do. Right, there's a zip line up there that we've somehow walked straight past. And there's another one over the wall. What's this? How do we get up there? This look like it looks like it used to be part of the Coast del Sol and has since been left. Or is this that beach that we need to go to? No, it's just an area of interest. We've got three chests around here that we can find as well. See another one over there. The materials on the beach. More there. There's got to be a uh, a chest around. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's the crab things. Yeah, I know what they're about. There's got to be one of the chests hiding among the rocks. There we go. We've got enough to get the gold needle, which is somewhat to do with petrification, like help cure it or something. But we've not come across. Oh no, we fought one enemy that could petrify us, but we killed it that quickly. It didn't matter. If anyone sees this chest, point it out because I am being completely oblivious right now not gonna be in the water surely No, but it is under the dock. How do we get there? How do we get there?
Not like that. <laughs> right, you can jump up that way, but you can't jump over the other way. Okay. There's got to be a break somewhere. Aha, over there. That one was quite well hidden, actually. A healing carcinet. That would be good for anyone who I basically bump as a healer, which right now it is Aerith. But I can't remember what accessory she has right now. Let's have a quick look at fighting these we things. Be able to find some good shells around here. Bull frog bubble. They slip into a defensive stance after taking a certain amount of damage, rendering frontal attacks effective. Fire damage will break the stance. If left uninterrupted, they will strengthen themselves and strengthen themselves further with ice energy. Okay. Ah, you swine. Now that makes sense. Damn it. <laughs> Get some healing on the go real quick. Oh wow. Hang back. It's on you. Come on, you can do it. Let's heal Aerith, desperate. She's Firebolt Blade on this one. Not necessarily weak to this, but might do some damage. Shells, ready or not, here we come. <sighs> Let's saddle up first, then search. Sounds good. Back on the birds we go. Search for seashells while enjoying a date with Aerith on Chocobat. Press up to sniff it out and then down to dig. Beach coma beware, though some spots are treasure while others lead to trouble. Okay. Let's heal up then. Oh, we're right on top of one. Well, that's not what we wanted. Get ready. 
What I'm going to do and try and save on a little bit of MP. I'm going to just keep packing using pr and then using prey when I've got a full mana bar. Just to get a bit of extra health back. Let's use the MP stealing ability as well. What's it called? Soul Drain. That give me 10 actually. Oh, right there. Do with getting some uh, MP regeneration as Aerith. I suppose the fights aren't really lasting long enough to justify it right now, but this is not the shell you are looking for. Another free gill. Getting rich quick. Oh my god. <laughs> How many times is it going to drop that on me? Whoa, I don't think I've ever seen a shell this big before. Hmm, if these things are all this size, I bet the suckers who live in them would make for good eating. Wonder how they taste. You don't strike me as the type to care. It's so teeny tiny. You know, a lot of troopers take half a show with them when they head out on missions. I know where this is going. It's meant to be a keepsake for their partner, right? A symbol of their undying love. And an omen of death for the trooper if anyone else sees either one, some people say. Oh, that could be turn. Again, let's, um... Drain some MP from it. I only got four that time. We get more MP when the enemy is staggered, I wonder. Not trying to escape, trying to avoid its effect. And frog. Are you sure? 
This is the part where you're supposed to blurt out, I don't want to go back. I want to stay here with you. This dates DOA otherwise. Okay, now you're just being mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I... sorry. A bit of an odd pair in them two, aren't they? But let's look at moving on to these zip lines to grab the rest of these materials. But I will make a note here that obviously a lot of these videos that I try and do tend to try and be an hour long. Obviously, if you're watching the live stream, it doesn't make no difference. So it'll probably end up getting cut off shortly here, or maybe even shortly before. I'm not too sure. Depends how we do. Main menu, then photo mode. You can't actually take a picture, though. I suppose that would be like your thumbnail kind of thing. That's what it's supposed to be for, though, isn't it? Creating thumbnails and stuff, but... see that there's two separate zip lines up here <laughs> we're gonna have to take one down then climb back up and then take the other one down potentially unless the materials are just at the top which is sweet Still got more zip lines to find. Tell you what, let's go get that Remna Wave Tower. That would also be a good point to, like, you know, chop my video down when this does go on YouTube. So obviously, there is a lot of side content. I don't want to throw it in like a one single five hour video or something like that. That would be daft. Well, let's take these guys out. By completely missing. Let's get that healing window. Give everyone a bit of healing. That even healed my non-active party members, which was 
fairly unique. Didn't know it could do that. Jeez, this control panel's high up. Yeah. <laughs> 